everybody. My name is Zoe. Welcome to my cluttered kitchen. In this case, my cluttered living and dining room. I wanted to let you in on something. This morning I woke up about 20 minutes late, went into the kitchen to make myself some coffee, and opened the refrigerator to grab the milk and realized I had a gigantic disaster. I had been defrosting some meat over uh, yesterday and overnight, and overnight it decided to leak and spill everywhere and by everywhere i mean everywhere it went all over every shelf into every single nook and cranny that it could find and my entire refrigerator currently is on my kitchen floor because i had to take everything out to clean it bleach it sanitize it do the whole whiz bang in the process of doing this i realized i had no idea how to take apart my crisper drawers which um I can, you, you actually can do on most um, refrigerators. I Googled a tutorial and just came up with nothing. So thought I would create a tutorial for you um, because I didn't know how to do this. And I think it's actually pretty interesting. It's taken me 40 years to figure out how to clean a crisper drawer. So they do come in, many of them come in multiple pieces. Usually the front of the drawer will pop off in some way. Um, mine has uh, two small crisper drawers or, you know, and one long wide deli drawer. I have a Kenmore um, refrigerator, it's probably seven years old. I'll put the model and make in the description as well as down below. Um, and it has plastic, white plastic drawers with clear fronts and the front pops off comes in two molded pieces and I had no idea that it actually came off. Good thing I figured it out today because it was in desperate need of cleaning after seven years and uh, a big yucky mess from this morning. So for this tutorial, for most of your uh, refrigerators, you're gonna need a flat head screwdriver. I happen to have this dealy wop. I have no idea where I found it. Probably came from some other thing, but it was in my drawer, it's a flathead. And I um, am gonna show you my drawer. I have my gigantic deli drawer. It has the white plastic with this front piece on it. Now I just cleaned this. I figured out how to do it. I cleaned it and I put it back together just so I could show you how to unassemble it again. Okay, so see the edges, how they're molded like that. And they don't really wanna come apart. So the trick with this, is to go from underneath in this little groove. So you take your flat head and you just kind of pop it off very gently. You don't have to leave any scratch marks. And it pops right off. I probably could have shown you this on one of the smaller drawers, but see that, that comes right off. And then this part, you can see, it's supposed to come apart. It wants to come off. How do, I, how do you do this, do you ask? You don't need this for this part. So see how, oops, see how it's got this little molded plastic piece that snaps on there. There's just enough wiggle room. If you press, press these two pieces, here, let me do that again. Press these two pieces together and pull this out on both sides, it will snap right back in. Press them together, pull it out. The whole thing comes apart like that for you to clean. See all these little grooves this morning? You can see the water still left in there. This morning there was a disgusting, slimy mess and now it's all nice and clean. So to put it back together, the same way you took it apart, snap it in place. So you just have to Line up your pieces and Let's see if I can do it. It's kind of fun. Snap. That one already snapped in. Oops, no, it didn't. Yes, it did. It snapped in. So front's all put together. Looks normal. Grab your drawer. So one thing about the drawer you'll notice it has these little groovies. So this piece also has 
the little notch right there. So that little notch and this little notch match up. So all you do, I have to do it the other way because my lever just better this way. So all you do is you put it in, the little groovies go in the little groovies. I can do it with one hand. right into place. I have to do it. One, two. Hear that snap? It's in. There you go. It's all done. Now the refrigerator that I have has this large one because it's a French drawer, um, a French door uh, freezer on bottom model. So this is the very bottom drawer. Right above it I have two splits and the splits come in the exact same fashion as this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was educational and informative. Hope you have a great day. Go have fun, do good things. Toodles.